Alfred, for some Tibet-related PR that actually makes China look good, Beijing took another shot at improving its image today. By taking foreign journalists on a guided tour, they were shepherded around the capital, Lhasa, where Chinese security forces have been cracking down on Tibetan protests. But as the CBC's Alison Smith reports, today's tour didn't exactly go as planned. In a moment, at Lhasa's Jokhang Temple, a curtain of calm fell away. A group of about 30 young monks rushed at reporters, emotional, wailing. We don't have freedom, we just want freedom, one cried. Jeff Dyer, a reporter for the Financial Times, was there. It was uh, quite an extraordinary event. Some of them were crying. Uh, they started shouting slogans, often about uh, free Tibet and support of the Dalai Lama. And they also wanted to tell us that they thought we were being manipulated by the authorities, that we were being told information that wasn't necessarily correct. It was an unexpected outburst. Just a handful of journalists were invited on this rare, tightly controlled tour of Lhasa, an attempt by the Chinese to show that the government's harsh response to Tibetan protesters was reasonable. But now, things are normal. Once again today, the Chinese government accused the Dalai Lama of spreading lies. He must stop inciting and plotting violent crimes in Tibet, this government spokesman said, and stop damaging the Beijing Olympics. The exiled spiritual leader of the Tibetan people has repudiated violence and indicated he is willing to talk with the Chinese government. I think one word I want to, to express. Hmm. I think this is time a Chinese government or concerned, I think the officials, I think must accept the reality. Again today, the Bush administration everybody. urged restraint and diplomacy. So we would urge the Chinese government to take this moment uh, to reach out to the Dalai Lama uh, and engage in a dialogue. The U.S. has also accepted a Chinese invitation for diplomatic officials to go on a government-sponsored tour of Lhasa in the next few days. A risk of embarrassment the Chinese seem willing to take to try to show some small degree of openness in the run-up to the Beijing Olympics. Alison Smith, CBC News, Washington.